How is Ginkgo Bioworks still at minus or negative 468.13 million in EBITDA? The EBITDA break-even point and other aspects of EBITDA and even adjusted EBITDA, they've been a big topic of discussion in the past few quarterly updates for Ginkgo Bioworks, primarily because this is why, according to Jason Kelly, they're taking very drastic measures to lay off all these people and to completely destroy their livelihood for this mythical goal that the company wants to reach. And look, even at the point where Jason Kelly has still been strongly advertising that they want to reach the break even EBITDA point, they're almost negative 500 million. Think about that. It really seems hard for me to believe or anyone else that something from biology could make 500 million in a year. It's not that I wouldn't want for that to happen because I'm sure it would be great for a lot of people because they could have a job and just be able to make a basic living to be able to eat every day. But Jason Kelly's uh, goal for this EBITDA break-even point of the company pretty much having to clear almost 500 million while all of the executives, they've exercised more than 2 billion in stock options before the EBITDA break-even point has even been reached or been close to being reached. It's completely absurd in my opinion because it just blows my mind how some people like them can try to walk off with so much money and how, moreover, how the shareholders in the recent August 14th meeting voted for officer exculpation. Now, you know, just to preface this, I know that from the structure of the voting rights at Ginkgo Bioworks, it's pretty much mostly controlled by Jason and his cronies. So they can pretty much vote over, um, you know, the shareholders if they want to, which I'm sure they did because they're just really trying to protect themselves. But it really goes to show about how disingenuous and how much deceit they pass on to the shareholders because they're just trying to pass this so that they can try to shield themselves from future litigation in the future, which, you know, how much is that going to stop people from for shareholders from still being disgruntled? I don't know, because people can still file, um, you know, claims uh, against what Ginkgo Bioworks did before this officer exculpation clause was passed. But regardless, I really think it goes to show that all of these types of financial goals and expectations for financial performance, it's not only really difficult for Ginkgo Bioworks to meet, it's very difficult for any type of company to meet. And I really, unfortunately, I'm a little bit skeptical about how how realistic uh, those goals would be for this company in the long term.